I believe that what is exciting about AIMS is uh, what it offers in terms of opportunities to, uh, to the youth of Africa. And it's not just for tomorrow, I think it's here and now that just by providing um, this uh, knowledge, investing in, 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 in knowledge, in sciences, in mathematics um, in Africa is uh, really um, so, so, I would say, in connection to what countries, African countries, want to achieve um, for their growth, for their sustainable development, um, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, for really um, the, uh, the possibilities that they would like to, to, to build uh, for their populations. And what I found when I visited Ames in, in Senegal, uh, and I was very lucky because there were students when I, when I was there, uh, there were professors from around the world, is so much enthusiasm, so much assertiveness. I mean, these young people, young girls, young men, uh, young women, uh, were so, um, first of all, dedicated to, to their studies, and at the same time, especially uh, with the women, the young women, uh, is they committed also in, in uh, engaging with, uh, with girls to, 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 to raise their awareness on, on the possibility for them also to, to, um, uh, to, uh, to learn, you know, and, and to, 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 um, to study sciences and, and mathematics. And, and so I think what AIMS is actually building is a new generation of empowered citizens uh, with that uh, amazing dream of seeing uh, more mathematicians uh, uh, and, and, and scientists and, and, and maybe, you know, Nobel <laughs> uh, uh, awarded, you know, uh, uh, specialists in, in sciences and mathematics coming from, from Africa, of African origin. Uh, uh, and, and I think it's, it's absolutely wonderful. What I loved also was to see all these... Um, uh, Nobel, uh, you know, uh, uh, prizes or I don't know how you call them, uh, uh, who, who are, are very renowned, uh, uh, you know, um, scientists and, 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 you know, mathematician, uh, mathematicians who, who dedicated so much time and gave so much of, of their knowledge um, not just uh, from a distance, but really leaving, living, living with the students, sharing time with them, being there with them, uh, sh sharing their enthusiasm about, about sciences. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I think this AIMS is really making a difference for this continent. I think it's, it's, it's true that AIMS is very different. Uh, AIMS is also about, about empowering young people. It's about making them realize their possibilities, their potential, um, igniting that, that passion for mathematics and, and sciences. There's a gender uh, also uh, um, there's a gender, um, I would say, uh, dimension. Uh, I know that now uh, we see 30% of the students being women, and, and of course, I know that it is work in progress because uh, the idea would be to, to see, you know, 50-50, like an equal number of women and, men and, and young men, young women and young men studying uh, at Ames. Um, there's also when I speak of an empowerment, it's also igniting this desire and this conviction of a, of a true capacity within, you know, Africans. I like the fact also that it's transcontinental. It's, it's, it's a continental strategy. The fact that the teaching is done in French and English, uh, two, you know, very spoken languages in Africa, it brings students from different, I mean, uh, environments, different cultures, 
different experiences together, you know, and, and that's absolutely amazing. So we'll see coming out of this really a new generation of leaders, leaders. And I think that as the world is also watching, what they will see, I mean, emerging from Africa is something that defies all the stigmatization and prejudices about Africans. What would you say to them? Uh, what, what, what I said to them, actually, uh, when, I, when I met uh, Ames students in, in Senegal is, I, I thought it was very important for me to acknowledge already their leadership. To, uh, to validate, acknowledge, and recognize their leadership. Not just for tomorrow, not just for, you know, the future, but here and now. Already I see them as leaders. I see them as being part of the solutions uh, for their countries of origin, for the continent, but also for the world, for humanity. Because what they are doing from that experience and that complete you know, commitment to, to, to their studies in sciences and mathematics is really breaking down silos, breaking down barriers, showing the world and, 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 and really, you know, I mean, teaching the world about what Africa has to offer. And, um, and, and also what I said to them is that I hope that they will be serving afterwards because they, serving is something important. You know, we've seen an exodus of, 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 of brains, you know, brain drain happening uh, from, from many African countries and, and other countries in the world to the profit of the North. I think that it's time now to see those, you know, capacities, human capacities, uh, staying and, and con con you know, and contributing, you know, to the growth and the sustainable development of, of, uh, of uh, African countries and other developing countries that really aspire to, em you know, to, to emerge, really to, to, uh, to, to grow, to, uh, to, to see, uh, you know, uh, betterment of the living conditions. I definitely got the sense that these uh, students, young men and women, were committed really to serving their countries. Of course they had some, some questions, you know, uh, about uh, the opportunities that will be there for them. They do want to serve and they're hoping that, you know, their countries uh, will also invest in them and will give them the possibility to serve. Uh, I think that's, 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 um, that's a puzzle for young people around the world, not just African youth, for all, I mean, young people around the world. How will I be able, really, to serve? Will, my, will what I have to offer be considered? And, and you know, uh, is it, um, is it taken for granted or is there really a role for me? Is there really, you know, a space for me? Um, and um, and I, uh, I pay a lot of attention to that. During my, my term as, as Governor General of Canada, it's something that I really focused on, making sure that young people are seen as leaders here and now, as part of the solutions, as living, you know, forces that we, we can't do without. Uh, we can't deprive ourselves of what they have to, to offer in terms of aspirations, of, of energy, of knowledge, of, of dreams. Uh, they are bold, you know, they dare. So, so, so we need to, to, um, to, to really give as much as we can to what they have to, to offer.